Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Toy Reviews. In this video today, I'll be sharing with you the Rapunzel doll celebrating 10 years of her movie, Tangled. 10 years. Wow. I remember watching the, the trailer and the different clips for, for the movie and thinking to myself, wow, this is, this is different than the original uh, Rapunzel fairy tale story. So it's a lot of fun. Love it. So <laughs> when I first saw this doll, I thought to myself, this is really beautiful because Disney Store has did already did a 17 inch limited edition doll, but that one, that one, that one's nice. I like the look of that one, but her hair, it's long, it's, it's loose. Um, she, she had a comb. So it was, it was pretty, but not enough for me at least to spend that kind of money on that doll. I thought if, unless something grabs me, I don't, I, I have a budget and stuff. And so I just, I'm very selective in what I pick. So anyway, so I'm actually glad I waited because I love this one a lot more. This dress that she's wearing reminds me a lot of a concept art that they did for the film. And I would not be surprised if that is where they got a huge inspiration for this doll from that piece. This doll was released in 2021. This is absolutely beautiful. She comes in a beautiful box. See, we have the handle on the top, the tangled words right there. Beautiful box. I'm always impressed with the Disney Store's boxes for their collector dolls. We got a nice background of lanterns. Flowers in her braid. I prefer her hair tied up. It's just when you have that much hair, it just gets in the way. The back of this box is absolutely beautiful. I just I'm always impressed with the designs and color choices that Disney Store makes. Let's get a closer look here. We have the ribbon tie on the back. The outside of the frame taken out, so we just have the plastic covering. So if you want to see a bit more of the doll and still be protected from the dust, this is another option. Her face sculpt is really nice. Yeah, Pascal. So you can see a full view of the plastic cover. Same kind of designs that you see on the frame with the flowers. So 
We can see the sun, leaves, so much pattern, rhinestones, we have the sun drop flower in gold, very appropriate. I feel like this doll is more elegant than the first one they did. It's just very nicely done. Beautiful. You can see the Kingdom of Corona a little bit better now that the doll is out. I like to keep the ties down, like the main ones, so when I put her back in the box for storage, she's secure. And her certificate of authenticity. So this one is 538 of 5,500. I like to keep it sealed in the original packaging. It makes it more protectant. Just look how long and beautiful her braid is. Just gorgeous. She's got these cute little freckles. A lot of detailed pattern, embroidery, so beautiful. And we cannot forget about her friend Pascal. The darker parts is actually just painted on, but it does give it that texture of his skin. And of course you can simply remove him from her hand. If you want to put it back on. So what, that's one thing I like about these clear rubber bands. You just put it right back on and it'll be nice and secure. I like these ribbon ties that come down on both sides. Very beautiful. Attached at the base with the bow. Oh, I just love it. So pretty. I think one of the reasons why I like this doll a lot better than the first one is the first one is it, like that's the dress. That's the same dress she wears in the movie. Which is beautiful, but one of the things I like about these limited edition dolls is that they change the look of the characters for the most part. That's not counting the frozen ones. Those they copied straight from the movie. I noticed that with the new films, like the film is released, they they copy the dress exactly like that was the case with the, the two Merida dolls, the one with her mom and then the one by herself. Those dresses are exactly from the movie. But in cases, cases like the older, like classic, you know, movies that have been around for a long time, like Sleeping Beauty, Aurora, Snow White, Little Mermaid, they tend to change it up a bit because we've all seen their dresses for a very long time, so we give it that new look. Want a new fresh look for those.
which would explain, since Tangled's been around for 10 years now, it's like, hey, let's just show her in a different dress. Oh yes, and this one does have bare feet, which is what she wears in her film. If you wanted to, you could get some flats, just get some shoes. Maybe like someone on eBay is selling some shoes from one of the other limited edition dolls. You could just order that and just put some on there. And her knees do bend. She's very poseable, her wrists and her arms, elbows do turn. Let's see, her waist, her waist does not twist or turn. But other than that, she's very poseable, very flexible. Be very careful when you're handling her hair, unless you want to re redo it, remove that stuff, just the more careful you are with the hair, the less work you got to put into it to fix it up. If you get if you have a messy braid and it, and it's all messed up all the way up to here or more, that's just more un, un undoing you have to do and then re re <laughs> refixing it. So, only do it unless you absolutely have to because it is a pain. She's got a little touch of purple eyeshadow right there. Of course, her beautiful green eyes. So beautiful. Absolutely love it. How many flowers does she have total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven flowers. She's a flower girl. If you love Tangled, love Rapunzel, and you just want to get a doll that features a dress that she doesn't wear in the movie, get this one. It's absolutely beautiful. The first one, I noticed there were some slight alterations, like the sleeve style is a little bit different, a little looser. Um, I think the skirt is a little bit longer too, but for the most part, the first one is basically the same. But if you want something just has got a fresh new look, slightly different, one then get this doll it's beautiful it would have been cool to see her hair glow but the flowers look pretty cool Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my content and want to support me, I have a Patreon page. And if you want to follow me, I have my social media platforms. All the information is in the link in the de video description down below. And hit that bell button for a notification for every time I upload a new video. Take care, guys, and have a magical day.